And again, this is your desired setup. You have the Spell and Threat Negator that use, you know, it can use its effect twice per turn. You have the, the bigger one that negates up to three times per turn cards at target. So, and plus double interruption. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back. So, new Gate Guardian support. So, let's take a look. It's, um... Uh, it's much better than I originally thought, and this is the current deck list. Uh, the deck might seem... Uh, well, there might be some strange uh, choices, but it actually makes sense. Come back to those in a couple of moments, but I think the most important thing here is, is that uh, they kind of well, they kind of work like GB Gladiator Beast, at least the the smaller you know uh, Gate Guardian fusions. And the materials need to be phased upon the field, as in either as a continuous spell or obviously as a monster, right? While and that's the biggest advantage of the the big Gate Guardian fusion, the one that needs three you know. Uh, Sangha and the other two, uh, Kasijin and Suijin, then um, you can like ABC Dragon Buster or like banish them from your graveyard as well or from your hand. So that's the most flexible one, but you know, it needs more materials compared to the other ones. The, depending on your hand, going first, going second, um, again, depends on your hand, but most of the time I'm going for the light one first, the one on the left, which uh, is basically a searcher, a searcher for spells or traps for, you know, for your gate guardian cards. They have like, um, you know, a, that, a Jedi Gumo trap that pops something in the same column, they have a quick play spell that pops a card from your opponent, that's that's this one, fantastic by the way, and they have a new uh, Ryoku card, which... I guess it's cool, but your life points need to be lower than your opponent's. There are cards that lower your life points going first, like Hero Lifts. Um, this Trudo is there, so again, there's options for that. Or, you know, if you're going second and potentially OTK your opponent with that Ryoku card. But, like, like going first, the, 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 like, the deck has some negations. Um, one of the fusions, one of the, um, you know, the, the smaller fusions negates up to two spells and traps during both players' turns. Again, that's fantastic. So that's the one I guess you want to get out as soon as possible next to the light one. While uh, their bigger fusion, their ABC Dragon Buster, you know, the one that needs three materials but also can banish the, you know, the siege or whatever from your hand, that one prevents targeting, well, prevents targeting your opponent's well, at least it can negate up to three cards, right, that target your card, so Imperm and, you know, stuff like that. So uh, that's actually good, that's really nice. Plus, all of them kind of float as well when, you know, they're removed by your opponent, uh, you know, by battle or by, you know, destruction. So that's fantastic, that's really, really nice. So going second against Kashira, Nibiru is needed. Nibiru... I mean, you could, you know, uh, tech in, like, Eclipse as well. You could tech in evenly matched, uh, like, same for Trap Tricks and stuff like that. You need generic cards to hit Kashtera. Otherwise, they will block your zones and you will instantly lose. I mean, Kashtera is currently the deck to beat, so it kind of makes sense. The thing now here is that Prisma is a cost, you know, sending something to the graveyard. Prisma is fantastic, by the way. It copies the name, plus it's a Gate Guardian piece on the field. So it's actually two pieces in one card. You know, getting the fusion out that negates spell, you know, spells and traps up to two times per turn. I don't think it's in the same chain. So now, you know, um, the Magician's uh, Souls is indeed getting negated. But uh, Konami decided to give us back Ancient Fairy Dragon. And this is one of those decks that still is able to abuse Ancient Fairy Dragon. It's still kind of broken, by the way. You know, the Errata doesn't really matter too much because field spells you know if you just pop a field spell from your opponent and then search here in this case your own gate guardian field spell which by the way is a fantastic field spell it basically with the new shadow ghoul it's also a terraforming by the way so you're basically running seven terraformings and that's that's kind of needed because the field spell it's not hard once per copy so you can just you know use multiple times and then put one of your gate guardian pieces as a phase up continuous spell that also works for you know your fusion summon um, the thing here is, is that, like, Magician Souls definitely has a place in the deck, you know, send up a used equip spell, equip spell, field spell, I mean, or one of the Gate Guardian spells that, again, have that graveyard effect to kind of search one of your Gate Guardian pieces, so that's all fantastic, and, uh, I mean, Magician Souls, again, I feel is pretty much a staple for the deck. Uh, the Geki, that's kind of random, but as I mentioned before, all the fusions trigger the lower fusions, kind of, you know, a special summon depending on the materials you needed, but either Kasijin, uh, Sangha, or, uh, you know, Suijin, while the bigger fusion, the ABC Dragon Buster, floats into any of the other low-level fusions. So, I'm going for, you know, the Spell and Trap Negator, again, that's, uh, that's an obvious one. Um, Baron, that's not the card to go to, and... Be honest, be honest. Did you know that, you know, like Suijin, Kasijin, they had like a regular effect that 
what is it if your opponent attacks during their battle phase uh, you can put the attacking monster to zero attack i think so here in this case that forces out baron but again i have a couple of ways to get rid of baron never put your boss monster in one of those zones again very similar to master duel right where people play that uh, random anima uh, so get out the abc dragon buster one again prevent targeting i can interrupt with i forgot the name the you know the quick play spell that again if you control a gate guardian card one of the fusions for example you can pop a card from your opponent so it's a fantastic card plus banish itself from the graveyard to get back one of your gate guardian pieces from let's say your banished pile for example that's that could be crucial if you again want to go for another you know abc dragon buster gate guardian Ooh, this one is nice you'll see it in a couple of moments but uh going second and this is i guess is it pure tribe gate i guess so it's going to end on what is it uh what's the trap card the soul charge you know which one i mean for tribe gate uh appaloosa the ancient warrior one and my hand two pieces always always the pieces even though i'm earning five i, I might add in another one the sangha to make it uh, six pieces just in case of kashira but again it's up to you use a field spell and are you really going to banish the field spell you actually should uh, but anyway that's besides the point prevent appaloosa from using its effect by destroying it so it, you know it can't reduce its attack point and here is where it's very crucial heavy tank when it's like used it's basically a prisma as well uh, when it resolves you can pop an extra card if you control the field spell so again it's very similar to labyrinth or you know the labyrinth field spell if you you know use welcome labyrinth so again i was able to uh, you know pop the ancient warrior one and now i can just establish my board um somewhat lucky here with the, the shadow ghoul draw which is basically another terraforming but i mean the field spell i need that phase up on the field because i have the shadow ghoul in the graveyard i want casigian on my side of the field so i went for the suicide crash first and then you know with any other attack use shadow ghoul to catastrophe like destroy my bonus monster by battle or you know by card effect deal some damage and then in main phase two go for my you know abc dragon buster with the quick play spell set which is again a superb interruption card sadly tribrigate omen does not target so again my opponent is always able to banish a card on my side of the field okay the you know the big gate guardian fusion is picked and as you know that floats into one of the other ones and this one is also cool it's um it's very similar to one of the despia fusions that i, I believe up to two uh, times per turn it drops an opponent's monster to zero attack and here i guess uh, you, you kind of blank or am i missing something as you know like the when you enter your battle phase you can use your field spell to pop a monster from your opponent with what is it 1600 or less attack i think it's something like that so with, in combination with all the gate guardian fusions to you know put one of your monsters to zero attack it, it's very similar to like um sub terror you know the field spell. I, not really but again you know what you know what i mean uh droplet was there as well but i i mean I'm honest, like, you know, reading cards, and um, I guess, okay, the cards are new, so, so like, like these things, I guess, are, are I mean, you're kind of capitalizing on the fact that players might sometimes not read cards. <laughs> and, I mean, the cards are new, so it is all it is. But, um, I mean, that's, that's what you get, right? Like, playing the new stuff, like Rika again with Euros a couple of months ago, like, nobody knew what they did. Uh, so, you know, those things definitely help out with newer archetypes and newer cards. Uh, going first against sprites and this is an okay hands you you know using magician souls getting a couple of draws and not going to search first because again the field spell is not hard once per turn so i, I just you know want to draw into his field spells as much as possible this pseudo is i think fantastic especially because of ancient fairy dragon and like prisma as well prisma is a super staple again it's basically a double name uh, like on field it's you know one of the th um, uh, the gate guardian monsters plus it sends one to the graveyard which you know potentially could be used for the abc dragon buster one like what happens here and again this is your desired setup you have the spell and threat negator that use you know it can use its effect twice per turn you have the the bigger one that negates up to three times per turn cards that target so and plus double interruption and again use one of your fusions to occupy your extra monster zone and and then you know using your GRI Gumo trap set it in the same column as your opponent's extra monster zone because the GRI Gumo trap basically special summons itself as a normal monster like what is it 2200 attack but most importantly you can destroy a monster at least in the same column where it's summoned so like obviously you want to hit your opponent's extra monster zone with that like look at this <laughs> four gate guardian fusions ah that's so nice 
Uh, last one again going first. This one uh, was tough luck, but again, like like again, double um, double gate guardian pieces in the opening hand. That's not the best, but uh, I mean we sack our way through it. So get out heavy tank again, the fantastic normal summon, which is basically a free level seven. And I guess you're not making your level seven or rank seven exceed plays that much. Um, but I mean the potential is there again with ancient fairy dragon to make use of it eventually. So pop ravine, I guess ravine is the the best non uh, gate guardian field spell you can search or a field spell right because with the errata you cannot search the same field spell you popped with ancient fairy dragon. So searching like ravine, destrudo, etc. That uh, that's, I feel pretty good. Uh, this exceed, uh, it's just a generic rank 7 exceed that kind of works very similar to, I guess, DD Crow. Pick one card, or is it a monster, I think, from your opponent's graveyard during their turn, and put it as an exceed material. So against something like Turtlements, it's fantastic. You know, it prevents Reino Heart here in this case from being special summoned, but it's still, even though it is a post list TCG, the deck is just still so sacky. Um, and oh, that's the thing here, like I do have double shadow ghoul in the graveyard, but uh, uh, Lugo Karos can special summon itself, right? Uh, that's so disgusting, right? And now I guess it kind of snowballs, um, you know, because of Guardian Chimera. And I believe the Reino Heart was sent to the graveyard, right? Yeah, it must be nice. I'm drawing a foolish burial for Sharon and, you know, going for what is it, uh, Galadin Heart. But now again, it's just uh, you know snowballing, and I'm eventually going to lose this one. But I guess it's kind of okay, especially if you saw the opening hand with double piece, like the level seven switch you don't really want to open with. I mean, it's not that bad because again, you can use them for the bigger um, gate guard infusion, but it's not really optimal. Again, you want to you know use your shenanigans plays with hero lives, prismas, uh, magician souls, the field spell. You know, using it multiple times, put your gate guardian pieces as a continuous spell. And go from there but it's really cool like burial from a different dimension could also be cool to you know send back the materials to the graveyard and go for a second one evenly matched going second again next to nibiru i guess the going second cards if you need them in the current format so again all uh you know opinions suggestions are definitely welcome okay guys that's it thanks for watching feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video we do sign out peace